Hello guys, today I'm going to tell you a beautiful story that's name is The Little Porridge Pot. Here was once a little girl who lived with her mother in a little house on the edge of a village. They were very poor and the day came when they had nothing left to eat. They have nothing left to eat. So the mother sent the little girl out into the forest. So the mother sent the little girl out into the forest to pick berries. She hadn't gone very far. When she met an old woman, you look hungry. Little girl said the old woman. Oh, I am sad the little girl. My mother went. I have no food left at home and no money to buy any. I can help you, said the old woman. And she took a little cooking pot from her bag. Take this pot, my dear. And when you say to it cook, little pot cook, it will his and bubble and fill with steaming hot porridge. And when you have announced, you can say stop, little pot, stop. Then it will stop cooking. Oh, thanks, you said. The little girl and she ran all the way home to her mother. Her mother put the pot on the stove right away. Cook, little pot. Cook, said the little girl. And at once the pot began to heat and bubble and to fill with steaming or hot porridge the little girl and her mother sat down and ate and ate until they could eat no more than the then the little girl said stop little pot stop and the pot stopped pink cooking the little girl and her mother danced round the table for joy for the new they will never go hungry again one day when the little girl was away visiting her grandmother her mother got out the little pod and set in one the table to make some lunch Cook, little pot, cook, said the little girl's mother. And at and at once the pot began to his and bubble and fill with porridge. The little girl's mother helped herself and ate until she was full. Then he, she said, announced little pot. But the pot went right on cooking. The porridge bubbled out of the pot over the table and on the floor. Oh dear, oh dear, whatever shall I do? Wailed the little girl's mother try as she whirled. She just couldn't remember how to stop the pot cooking by now the porridge was pouring out through the door into the garden and it didn't stop there it streamed into the house next door and along the street into all the neighbor's houses before long the whole village was full of porridge and all the villagers had run away just then the little girl came home from her grandmother's stop little pot stop she said 
and the little pot stopped cooking and all the villagers had to eat their way back home again okay friends the story is end now i will see you later in next day in the story okay bye